how to tell if somebody is about to die that is their their soul has left their body or their spirit has left their body and um, they have few days remaining few weeks or just a few months two three months left okay many people are, are that way they are already dead but they don't know many people in many families have people like that and they don't know so this video is going to help you to tackle the issue on, on time and bring back the soul of the person now i'm using spirit soul because of religious some of my religious viewers you know but you understand what i mean it means that the person is already uh, approaching uh, death uh, physically that's what i mean so number one is shake hand subtle sh vibration look at the body the person's body starts vibrating are you seeing my hand the way my hand is vibrating very little it may not be this is not parkinson's i'm talking about i'm talking about subtle vibration on their hand if they want to pick something you see if they are speaking to you there's a subtle vibration in their body you're seeing their body shaking very little sometimes if you don't look well you don't notice it it's only when you know what i'm telling you now that you can tell because your eyes can now pick it up sometimes it's the head that is shaking once you see that shake the person is on their way out i'll tell you the solution towards the end so watch till end if you're watching me for the first time all right click the follow button plus sign here to follow me all right go to my profile and watch other videos i've made many other powerful videos and click the heart icon to like this uh, post and then drop a comment if you know somebody like this or you have more suggestions share this video to your family groups because some um, somebody might be suffering this and the solution i'm going to say will be very important all right make sure you follow me on youtube facebook instagram and twitter so apart from the vibration the speech of the person slows down see how i'm talking now you can even if your eyes are closed you can tell that i have life in me all right just by hearing my voice you can even guess my age just by hearing my voice but now compare my voice now to this guys uh the one thing i have to tell you is that everything is fine i'm okay you cannot compare me now are you hearing that you see how my speech slowed down that slow speech <laughs> life has left the person another one is facial expression once the face loses its expression the person is gone already look at the life on my face now you see all this you see every word i'm saying comes with its own emotion on my face your eyes are picking it but you never knew until now i'm saying it now you're looking at my face your eyes are picking different emotions you see you see how i'm talking like this you see my face once all these things go the person is gone so here's an example you see how my face is looking Ah, my eyes are still doing that. See my, how my face is looking? Once you see all these things, the person's body is gone. You see how my face is dead? This is a dead face. So we call it the dead face. So once you see dead face on somebody, mm, he's on his way out. Uh, his soul has left, in quotes. But also you can see this dead face on people that have committed a very, very bad crime. Or about to commit it. They have done something really terrible. They have, their conscience is gone. So their face dies so imagine somebody that is coming from a place where they just stabbed somebody and covered it up and you're greeting the person hey how are you they'll say hey i'm fine yeah. they can't even smile again yeah everything is fine we're doing well everything is wonderful you see me i'm very happy now and uh, all this you see how the face is dead the person's soul has left in quotes all right same thing with somebody who has been sick in a while and they are approaching when they are going to pass on pass on they are weeks away, days away, or months away. Their face is dead. You can't see any expression there. The expressions are gone. The eyebrows no longer move when they talk. The cheeks no longer elevate when they talk. They're dead. Now, another one is the eyes. The eyes have two things, color and life, all right? So if this white eye changes color, somebody's eye used to be white. Look at my own, it's white, all right? Maybe a small hint of red, you know? This is normal eyes. If the white one suddenly change color, you are not seeing red or yellow. The person is on their way out. Your eye is not supposed to change color. So if it changes color and there is nothing that hits your eye or something, it means your body is battling a serious, serious infection. If I, they are about, something is about to break down inside your body. That's what it means. Sudden eye color change. And the person can tell you, oh, is my eye red? No, I don't know why. It has been red like this for a week or two. Next week, you will hear the person is gone. You understand so which means if you seek such a reddish eye you have to go to hospital do you understand if they're already in the hospital and it's still like that you need to change hospitals 
if you if you have already changed hospitals and it's like you have to attend try another means maybe helps you can consult a herbalist like me chat me up maybe there are herbs maybe that will help they are nutritionists so there are many what i'm saying is that there are many uh, medical uh, solutions it's not just lying in the hospital and are dying you can consult other doctors some doctors are better than others that's the fact so that eye color change in no past two three weeks the person is gone now apart from eye color change the life in the eyes the you know our eyes convey emotions it's pretty improving in science once the eyes are dead there is something called the death stare if somebody is about to terminate you now they have the intention in their heart the way they look at you will change they can stare at you for three minutes without blinking you'll just be talking they'll be looking at you like this my eyes have life that's why it's moving small but if you see the person <laughs> okay that's how they respond when you are chatting with them so some of these ladies that hang out with guys and the guys take them to hotel and they honor life them if you rewind it you will see that it's in the guy's eyes all the while all that time he had that evil intention it's in his eyes so if you ever pick somebody with dead eyes the eyes are dead they have said they have intention to commit something very very heinous or they have already done it any soldier any policeman will tell you that there are two types of cops or two types of soldiers those who have actually taken life and those who have who haven't the ones that have actually taken life like a soldier that have been to battle and actually shot at the enemy and the enemy fell if you look at his eyes he's dead he's dead you know he, he has he has got to the limit of the worst thing any human being can do if you cross his path you could die too you know he doesn't have restrictions on what he can do again his eyes are dead if you look at it do you understand so at the end of the day when somebody is about to die too they have been sick and they're about to die their eyes suddenly die in terms of there is no emotion in the eye when they're talking to you you see that that stare is there that means the person is on their way out Another one is complaint. When the person starts complaining about um, their properties, it's like they want to write their will. It's like they are complaining what will happen about uh, money, how to raise their children. Do you understand? If the person is complaining about you on that, um, where are the papers for these properties and so, so on and so forth, they want to, it's like they want to go to the bank and do a process. Do you understand? They want to go to the government and get some of their papers out and once that person is going through all these things, the person is about to leave because something in them have told them that they're about to leave. Most people that are about to die, they already know. Is either they are seeing it in the dream because uh, the, the bacteria in our intestine, not bacteria per se, but um, the proteins there, they're able to communicate with your brain when something is seriously wrong with your body. So you start seeing it in the dream. When the, this person has had this bad dream two or three times, they already know that they're about to go. So they try to start making final... Uh, preparations to leave another one is when the person starts visiting old family members do you understand they want to connect to old family members they are about to sign up it's like they want to speak with these people one last time you, you understand they can tell you to drive them to this person's house drive them to that person's house you know um they want to speak with the children of this man that is dead they give me phone i want to speak with so so and so or they want to make peace do you understand? Maybe your brother you've been quarreling with with 20 years. All of a sudden, you hear that they want to speak with you and they say, I'm sorry for everything. They're about to go. They may not pass the information. Another one is, if somebody that is okay suddenly calls you and say they want to check whether you are okay, and you guys know that this person, both of you know that he knows that you're fine. You understand? For instance, your husband travels and then he calls you and says, I want to know, make sure you're okay. You can pick it in his voice if he's in danger. Sometimes somebody's about to be taken. All right, and they beg that they should speak with their family one more time or somebody wants to go for something really terrible and they know that they may not come back imagine carrying drugs to cambodia or all those countries that thai thailand if they catch you and die you will see the man call his uh, wife and say i want to know how you're doing how is the children take care of everybody once you start hearing that advice take care of your younger ones take care of this the person is about to <whistles> last one is prayer once people start praying to you after every phone call after making a phone call, they start praying to you. Uh, I hope that you pray with everything you do. Once that prayer starts coming, the person is about to go. They are wishing you well. This is well wish for the world. So finally, make sure you share, like, and subscribe. Follow me, all right? This is my name on TikTok. 
and go and follow me on TikTok and consult me if you have any herbs 